Ooh, wait until you hear about this. So I'm at commander's practice today and defensive coordinator Jack Del Rio said this about his linebacker Jamin Davis's performance in Sunday's win. Uh, Jamin was just okay in the game. I think he, 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 he practiced better throughout the offseason. Um, uh, and it was just a so-so performance. Whoa. Just so you understand, a coach calling out one of his players to the media, that's not normal. Topper, what do you see here? Well, you know what I see, D? Yep. Developing drama. Thanks, Topper. Now, Jamin Davis was the commander's top draft pick in 2021 and has not lived up to expectations. But this, we had to ask Coach again about Davis, just in case, and he didn't scale back. Is there anything you'd like to, to see more of? No, nah, I don't. I, I, I said plenty. I gave you guys plenty there. I mean, he's got to play better. He didn't play very well last week. I, I saw a lot of good things this offseason, and, and it kind of surprised me that he didn't play better in the opener. Yeah, I mean, he'll be challenged to play better. Real talk? We have a situation here, emergency phone. Doc, you played for Washington. What do you see? I'm focusing on the instructors. I think they're instructors. You can't yell at the player without yelling at yourself. To me, it means you're a lousy teacher. Well, now the student, Jamin Davis, is put in an uncomfortable situation when he has to answer my questions about his coach's comments. It's not frustrating at all. I mean, you just, you go out there, you move on, you keep making plays, because that was one of the things they used to hit me last year, was trying to sit and dwell on the past. But going forward, I mean, I know who I am as a player, so just go make plays. So I got to hand it to Jamin Davis. Face the media like a pro. Now he have to play like one on Sunday, or this won't be the last time we hear from his coach, Jack Del Rio. I'm Darren Haynes, W, USA 9 Sports.